able to populate that data in here, our lambda overlay or the percentage difference is going to be telling us how far off we're from our target. So our target here is going to be 12.8 air fuel. So we're going to be targeting 12.8 and then it's going to be telling us here in this, this map, this difference map, this lambda overlay map, showing that our wideband is going to be reading, let's say, 14.1 air fuel, and we're saying our target should be 12.8. It'll be telling us the difference we need to correct by. I'll be showing you that it's really simple to go ahead and do that correction. So let's do here, save this file right now, and let's move into doing this pool. So I'm going to be doing my pool here from, let's jump into our dyno real quick, from 2,000 to 6,500. Let's see what this is going to look like. So um, we're going to be essentially mapping out our full low cam portion of our table here all the way up to 6500 and then um, we, again we have our VTEC off we have our VTEC off we need to do our low cam first so we can see where the two torque curves intersect I'm also going to be showing you when we get into the next video how to determine what your VTEC point is going to be without a dyno because sometimes it's a little bit difficult so let's go here I'm going to throw my headphones on and then we'll go ahead and do this pool all right we're in gear and I'm going to go up here and hit record. We're going to be recording this run and we want to know what it's going to do. So let's hit record. Now we're recording. Let's go ahead and make our pool. Oh. Let's put the dyno into its run mode. There we go. All right, now we're ready. Control L clears the Lambda overlay. Let's start fresh for the pool. Stop that recording, okay? And let's go here and evaluate this and take a look. Now, first things first, let's look at our lambda overlay. We can see that we're in our table here. It's showing us anything that's showing us a positive value. It's telling us that we're that lean. We need to add that much fuel to our table. So all we need to do is highlight our table here just as we were tracing through. Highlight